So today, I have tried numerous times to do some podcasting, but these jackasses, mind you, quiet until the second I try podcasting, and then they all begin barking, throwing shit around the house. So I said, screw it, I threw them all outside, no humping. Um, and I figured I would take this time to introduce them to you. Um, I think they're all out here with the exception of two. So here's the king himself, Jethro. No humping, I see you. Um, you all know him, he's the drama queen. Oh my God, is he a drama queen. And then there's Augie. Augie is, he's sweet. He's probably my sweet boy. He's the one that just loves everybody, loves everything. He's actually half coon, uh, blue tick coonhound and like 98% Weimaraner, which, oh my God, when he barks, you can totally tell. And then like 2% Catahoula, which is where he gets his coloring from. Now, mind you, when I went and got him from the shelter in Ohio, I didn't know what kind of a dog he was. And then sure as shit, my luck would have it, I did his DNA and, yep, blue tit coon down in there. Um, okay, let's see who else we got here. Okay. Um, Billy Bob. That's my little shrimpy dude. He's my little tiny one. He's the tiny one, but he is the feisty one. If they get to wrestling too much, he, he's the one that'll jump in and start scrapping. Uh... Maribel, she is actually here to get a home. She is perfect. And I have been posting her and trying to get her a home and so far, nothing, not even an application. But she is a good girl. Okay, all right, then there's Barney. Ugh. Barney is a member of the Blues Brothers. He's, uh oh, <coughs> they got a whip of something. <coughs> no, Barney, no, no. Barney, as you can see, has major anxiety and really bad separation anxiety. Um, all three of the brothers I got out of uh, Hurricane Florence, all three of them have a lot of anxiety, um, but he's the worst. We ended up in him out and he only lasted two weeks before he destroyed their house. So I had to take him back. He's here forever now. And these two brothers are at a, another Villalobos location. So they will soon be joining us as well to make my life even more miserable. Okay. Yeah, you got a whip of something. All right, who else here? Uh, wait, we're missing one. Lugosi. Lulu. <laughs> Lugosi's my little weirdo. He's so weird. He, um, oh boy, they got a whip. What do you guys got a whip of? Look at that. Ooh, yeah, Maribel's good. Lugosi, he's just a little weird. He's a weird little dog. Like, he just, he's got like no personality. He's like empty. Um, he doesn't really like to be touched. He, he, he just like he's he'll stand in the same spot for like hours and just stare at like a wall I did try to show him in the beginning oh. for adoption but he was just like he was not into it so now he just lives with me I'll turn you both loose just don't come back um who else okay oh Hoosier I got Hoosier here Hoosier is he came to me from Indiana. That's the name. Um, I got tricked into Hoosier, <laughs> kind of. So when I went to pick him up from the shelter, he was still kind of out of it from being neutered. And, um, you know, he was all groggy and whatnot. Well, when he woke up, he was a, an asshole. He just, he bites everybody. I mean, he's just an asshole. He's a biter. Um, and he thinks it's funny though. It's like it's like a fun bite. Like he he he's not playing, but to him it's funny. He enjoys tor <laughs> oh, those those eyeballs, those eyeballs. Yeah, you're a bad dog. Okay. 
Um, and then I got Lafayette and Patsy Klein, who are <laughs> Patsy, who are in the uh, house. Um, so it's eight blue ticks. And then uh, my other hound, my oddball, Twine. Titi. <laughs> Hello. Twang, twang. <laughs> twang with all the issues. He's got lots of issues. <laughs> He likes to bite people, unfortunately, as well. Okay. Stop. So this is all the hounds except for two that are inside the house. And you are the reason that I can't work. So I will be slightly delayed in putting my podcast up today. Maybe later tonight, while well, these guys are asleep. Or I turn them loose and never to come back. <laughs> huh. Because we're coming to you oh, straight out of Swampton. Oh.